Hey guys, I was prepping for my butternut squash soup and I started cutting into this guy and I thought, I gotta show my viewers. Um, you can buy this already cut up and peeled. You'll pay a little bit more. So if you buy them whole like this, this is what I do. First, I cut off both ends, the top and the bottom. Once you get the bottom cut off, then you gotta scrape out the insides. It looks just like pumpkin, a little bit smaller. Then, to peel them, I use my knife, because they're real tough and they're, these are really hard to deal with. I used to have to do cases of these when I worked at this one restaurant. And it was like the worst thing ever. I gotta peel and dice up butternut squash today. But if you're just doing a soup at home and you got a couple of them, it's not so bad. And the reason I, oh, forgot to say it. <laughs> I cut them in half because the reason is you've got the same kind of surface angle to cut. If you left this on top, you've got to go like this and try and work your knife and it's a little more complicated. So yeah, I just go down right and see how tough these are. Just go right down the side as best you can to remove that peel. I've tried these with a, like a regular potato peeler and these win every time, so you definitely need a sharp knife and some patience. And then you just move over to the next one. And you can use that skin as a guide to go in about, I don't know, a quarter inch. Just look at it as you're doing it. These are not fun to cut up. But if you know how to make a good soup with these, the end result is worth it. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Now, what I do is I just cut them up into chunks and I roast these before I puree them for the soup. <laughs> 